Hi friends, once again welcome back. This video is regarding the COVID vaccination certificate. As you can see on the screen, even after taking the first vaccination or even both the vaccination, you feel like changing your data on the certificate like name, gender, uh, year of birth and photo ID number. This is possible now online. We had already pushed a video where you can change these details before vaccination. Now this is after vaccination how to change it so that your certificate comes with the correct data. So let us uh, quickly start and see how this can be achieved online. I am doing from mobile. You can do from mobile also. Just open a Covin portal. Link will be given in my video description. And many of you already know the link. Covin.jov.in home. Okay. This is the link. Uh, after uh, opening the link, first you are supposed to click on the register or sign in yourself button. This is the yellow button. So when you click there, uh, even if you register or sign, the process is same. You have to enter the mobile number. Make sure you are entering the same mobile number where you have uh, already registered and got vaccinated. Okay. So once you enter the mobile number, click on the get OTP button. Uh, once you receive the OTP, as you can see on the screen, I got the OTP. I'm going to enter the OTP and after entering the OTP, click on verify and proceed. Okay. Once you do that, it will take you to the dashboard where you can see the vaccinated details okay so this person is partially vaccinated in this example and i wanted to change the details there is a raise an issue button this is just now newly introduced once you click there first you are supposed to select the member because if two or three members are vaccinated uh, you can select which member needs a change in data. So I am selecting one member here and after that click on correction in certificate and click on continue button. Simple. Okay. So remember some points before doing this. I will tell you what are the points you have to remember. Okay. This is the self correction page where you can change four data name, gender, year of birth and photo ID number. Okay. What are the things you have to take care before changing? These changes are allowed only once. You cannot keep on changing. Please remember this. Okay. So make sure you are changing to the right point. Now updated information will appear on your final certificate. So once these changes are approved, your final certificate will come with the latest changes. Now one more point I wanted to tell you. See I select year and gender here. You can see by default when I select anything the previous I mean below the screen comes for example I select name and gender you can see here enter name and enter gender you cannot select now year of birth and photo ID number that means at a time only two data can be changed okay so most of the cases there will not be mistake for more than two data that is the uh, theory behind it so I select name and year of birth you can see here by default gender and photo ID cannot be selected so uh, decide what is the one or two data is wrong in your certificate you wanted to change and then proceed one more very important point here photo ID number I had one pan card that's why when I select photo ID number it is asking for correct pan card if you have given something else, it will come accordingly. You cannot change uh, the ID number as ID type itself. You can only change the ID number. It's very clear. Okay, let me tell you once more. ID, uh, you cannot change ID type. For example, I had given PAN card. Now I wanted to uh, change it to passport. No, it's not possible. Okay, they are planning to update another upgrade where you can uh, get the COVID certificate entering your passport number once that is rolled out I will push a new video but as of now here you cannot change the ID type you can only change the ID number I entered my PAN card but I gave a wrong PAN card number then you can correct it here okay simple preference this is very clear okay you cannot change the ID type so now I click uh, whatever date I wanted to change for example say year of birth and photo ID number I select those things and I give my correct uh, year of birth I give my correct PAN card number because in my case I had given PAN card if you give any other card that name will be shown here passport or whatever election ID so I change it accordingly these two data and after that you got a continue button down you are supposed to click on the continue button 
and wait for the next screen okay you will get a confirmation screen like this certificate of correction you are going to correct your birth certificate sorry birth uh, uh, photo id number and year of birth okay if you are confirmed click on submit button so once you click on submit button before that okay let me read it through once more information submitted by me is found incorrect your certificate will be or may be revoked so if you are furnishing wrong data it's a problem now as you can see here i have submitted and i got a request here okay it's not instant you will get a message like this your request will be submitted successfully and is under processing okay that means the request has already gone they will validate it because you cannot uh, change something and get it approved they will validate it with your id card you submitted online and once it is approved you will get a message and accordingly your data will be updated and so that when you download the covin certificate the latest correct data will be furnished thank you so much if you like the video kindly give us a like also please share and subscribe thank you so much see you with another informative video